What is up, you guys? It is your boy Jad here from Global Plot. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 19. This time, of course, we're back on the treeless Millennial Farmer <laughs> Homestead. Uh, just a little treeless here today. I'm mm -hmm. according to Sean, by the way, Uncle Eddie's living in the uh, guest bedroom of the house. Maybe, maybe in, is there a second story? I don't even know. Anyway, we're here on the map. We have like no trees. We have a field. Auto save, of course, has to be a thing because I've been on here a while. Uh, we have a field. It needs some lime, but it is fertilized, ready to go. So I think we're going to get a planter going first. Then we will work on other things as well, like probably getting the harvest rolling because our corn, the corn is ready to go. So we will work on that as well. But how y'all doing? Welcome to the video. I appreciate it. And uh, this is probably going to be a little bit of a cut up video. Not too bad. Like little, I got a little bit of time today, basically, is what I'm, what I'm getting at. Again, kind of procrastinating. Say, I really got to quit doing that. I got to quit procrastinating. But I've gotten a lot of other work done as well. So it's, it's kind of okay. You know, some procrastination is okay because I'm like doing other work. I'm not just not doing anything. I guess. I don't know. I'm not trying to justify my uh, procrastination, I swear. But anyway, we're here. We're doing this. Uh, we are going to be planting. We are running out of days, by the way. It is. What is it now? Oh, so we're running out of days, but I think we are going to go ahead and plant soybeans because if we get boom, spring soybeans, good to go. We'll sell corn in the winter and hopefully that'll be good to go as well. We need to change seed to soy, soybeans, and course play, of course. What else would we use, right? Got to have the course play Go around the field uh, twice should be enough with this thing, I believe. We'll get this going here in just like a second. There we go. And you can see it does go over the other, like the areas. So we are good to go because I have turned off the map obviously since the other day because actually right after the video I stopped plowing and then I finished plowing today so I, that was actually part of my quote unquote procrastination was uh, plowing the field because that, that you know that took a little while not gonna lie but that is okay and now we appear to be pretty good to go planting soybeans our first soybeans which means we need to buy some grain heads as well Grain platform, some people call them grain heads, whatever you want to call them. Um, and we actually, we have, we have big, we have big heads as well. Uh, or actually, no, I guess I don't have those on here, do I? But not, I don't have those. I have the ones with the air reel. Yeah. I think I want to go ahead with these for now. 13.7 meters. That compares, that's just like these heads, but you know, these have wheels. These don't. Do I have header carts? No, don't do that. Uh, do I have header carts? I have another mod in my mod pack because we use it on multiplayer with like a 40 and a 50 foot head. Maybe I should just wait for those. I know the air reel is the more legit, like, you know, Mr. Millennial Farmer has, but at the same time, that's a 45 foot. And I have a 60 foot head in the mods. But this does have the air reel, but I also don't have a good header card. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off. All I need to do is activate the mod, and I just apparently didn't do it. So we have plenty of time before the soybeans are going to be ready. Let's just be honest there. We have a lot of time. So don't really need to worry about that, do we? No, we have tons of time before the soybeans will be ready. Okay, auto drive. Get another harvest going, guys. Another... Another harvest. Okay, so we want to do here. We want to dump, dump the trailer. We want to go from the. Uh, let's see. I think it's this one. To <laughs> that one. I think. That's what we want to do? It doesn't matter what what we're hauling because we're going to be loading out of the field. I think that's right. It's been a while since I've done this. To be honest. Uh, doing the little tree project that's taking some time away from harvesting, you know? So, there's that. Actually, we could use another tractor right now, not gonna lie. But, we'll just have to run a grain cart full-time ourselves. 
which is not a, not a big deal at all. I enjoy running the grain cart, as everybody knows, so not an issue. All right. And I will say it's nice to have another big shed. Lots of shed space. Very nice to have it. Well, that is good. Okay. Park this here. Go we'll grab a combine or two. Is that actually a... I wonder if that actually works. Hmm. I don't know. Not on the map, but... I don't know. No. Open. 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 No. There we go. <laughs> I love the doors. Sometimes. Open sesame. Alrighty, here we go. So I've been keeping you the, you guys kind of oh god you truck. He kind of scared me, not gonna lie. Uh I've been keeping you guys kind of in the loop about the whole uh like the wheel setup I've been talking about. Wait, where's my header at? Oh, that's right. I took headers off when I... Okay, they're in the they're in the shed here. But I've been keeping you guys up to date on the wheel setup. And I guess I kind of have an update for you guys. Obviously, you guys know if you pay attention to the videos. I, uh, I got it kind of running, you know. Yeah, there we go. That's right. We parked these in here because I, th I thought by now I'd have grain heads, but... We'll wait for the uh, 60 footer. I think it's going to be good. Good. It's going to be quite good for the map. So, uh, anyway, wheel setup. I. I use said wheel setup. What is he doing? I must have him set on the wrong setting. You guys probably already caught that, but anyway, we'll get to him. Uh, wheel setup. I. Obviously, everything's hooked up this past Sunday, so a couple days ago now. I actually did, um, let's see, no, what's it called, what am I looking for, there we go, and there we go, six will be good, I actually did, um, I, I did some trucking, I did some trucking for the first time on this new setup, and it is awesome, it's fairly comfortable, and that's, that was my big thing through the whole thing, was like being comfortable, if I'm not comfortable, then it's not fun, you know. So fairly comfortable. I'm I'm fairly pretty pretty uh, pretty happy with it. The only thing that I was struggling with, and I knew it was going to be an issue, was the oh like hitting the brake pedal and rolling away from the desk in my rolly chair. So need to work on that still. I do have an idea. I just I was I was actually supposed to get that done today and figure that out. But probably not going to happen till Friday. But that's okay. Um, Oh, baby, we'll stop. <laughs> take no breaks. Holy cow. And, uh, yeah, so it was, it was pretty fun. Ran a couple loads with, uh, with a couple of the guys, Trent and, uh, Carson. We were in there and we were getting it done. You know, we were getting it done. So it was fun. Quite fun. Quite fun. Okay. So two combines. We need course play. Steel. From the other combine. To make sure this guy is on the right side. Do a little manual harvesting in here real fast. Just to get the field opened up and get him in there without like driving over all the crop, you know. I know that bothers and it kind of bothers me too, driving in the crop. So I'd rather not do that. There we go. The leg spike, nothing too bad. Okay, what do I have wrong with this truck? Okay. So do I want you to be on that? No, because that's filling up the... Oh, no, that that's actually right, right? That one's right, I think. Because we're going to fill up the trailer at field three and then bring it here to dump it. Okay, that should be... It. We only need one, uh, one truck, by the way, for harvest. One keeps up quite well, so there. And we're gonna have an extra grain cart this time because of course we don't have enough tractors for planting. Just fine. Alright. Auto drive. 
Can we switch you to the combine setting? I know that, and everything's set up there already. Uh, so you're good to go there. Good to go. Wait, no, that's on field two. That's not right. We want you to go to this right there, that F3. That's what we want. That's what I want. Okay, that was one I added. Do the whole thing, and then our truck. Where did our truck go? Truck is driving through the homestead. Okay. Eight. And buddy is not going to the right place. Where is he going? Field three, right? Yeah, that's the. He'll figure out his life. They'll figure it out eventually, you know. I gotta get to the uh I gotta get going. They're gonna need me. Oh, the combine. So Yeah, so actually speaking of combines, uh like I said, this is gonna be a chopped up video a little bit here, so I'm gonna going to go ahead and just oh hey, he's made almost a round on the uh seeker there. Good. That is a monster. And actually I have a bigger seeker in the pods too. I'm probably gonna switch to eventually. And yes, I know we have one point uh, $1 million, and it's kind of weird sitting there with money, but I'm going to kind of sit on it for right this minute, you know? Oh, and you guys said to leave the ditch, by the way, so I, I will leave the ditch. I may have to trim the field back and put another auto drive uh, path around, but for right now, we are going to leave the ditch. But I'm going to go ahead and jump ahead a little bit in this harvest, and uh, we'll check back in and see how things are going in a little bit. Alrighty, guys, it has been a little bit of time, probably about 20 minutes or so. And it's kind of funny because like we're only on our second outside round around the field and I'm quickly realizing that this tractor is great. But if I'm relying on it to run a grain cart, it is far too slow. And I've known that for a while. Don't get me wrong. But I think it's time to do something about it. I do have money. So that's a big part of what I'm even hinting at here. Uh, my other auger wagon, <laughs> he's... He's, he's figuring out his life. I actually told him to go to field two, if you guys recall by accident. So I was like driving around this field. And I'm like, where did he go? He's not over here. He was sitting up at the north side of field two, just waiting. So apparently on auto drive, you have him set to go somewhere. And then you tell him to go somewhere else. You have to turn it off and turn it back on. Otherwise, they just go to the first point that you told him to go. So I didn't know that. Now I know. And uh, yeah, he was just chilling up there. So... Yeah, and then he got stuck in that ditch that I want to get rid of that you guys said leave, which is fine to say leave it. It's good. But there's a couple big rocks in there that might have to go. So he got stuck in there. I had to reset him again. He's figuring out his life. He's in the homestead right now, I think. He'll figure it out eventually. But uh, I think while we're up north here, let me get this uh, combine here a little empty. And then it might just be time to pull the trigger on this tractor. This is a great tractor. I like this tractor. We're going to keep this tractor. It is very, very cheap, so it doesn't really owe us a lot. It's great for working dirt. It's great for plowing. It's whatever. It's fine. It's a good tractor. We can use it. To, we should have probably put this on a planter, to plant the other field. But anyway, I think it's time we're going to buy another tractor. Like, I was going to hold on to the money, but I, you know what? Why? Why? Just get rid of it. You know, who cares? So, we've been talking for a long time about buying a big articulated wheeled John Deere. Okay, which would be like this guy right here, the 9R. Or the 9R. Oh, that's like a newer one. Hmm. Well, that might not. No, I don't know which one's newer. That's the, that's a good, that's going to be a good one there. The only one we have, right? Yeah. I don't actually know which one's better. Hundred thousand dollars or wait, it's only a hundred thousand dollars. That's kind of weird, right? Five hundred horsepower to start with. This is four twenty to start with. I don't know. I don't know where this one came from. To be honest, what the what? <laughs> okay, we'll finish that thought in a second. Just what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> they look so goofy. <laughs> okay, the gun mines will run. The other guy should come get him here in a second. $100,000 or do we spend... I mean, that's a lot of money. But, let's see. We can add all... Ooh, a rock box. I actually like that. That's cool. That's pretty neato. Full set of weights. Probably not... Probably not floaters, to be honest. 
I'd rather have probably big old boy duels like that, maybe. Although for running a grain cart, probably not because that's gonna stick out and like catch stuff. So that that would be a lot narrower. And plus, you can like drive over your corn rows better that way, right? Definitely want to make it the U.S. version. Um, we can add weight other places too. Oh my! I mean, might as well weight it down, right? Three point hitch. Uh, sure. Uh, let's see. That's the GPS stuff, isn't it? Why not actual GPS in the game? Sure. Uh, we don't need a sticker. No. We'll do the hundred year sticker. Why not? Speaking yes. Wait, I think there's more options. Uh, number one is our first one of these. And then, uh, different types. I don't really care. We'll go medium there. Kind of the shorty elbow. Okay, so this goes all the way to 670. We're going to go ahead and buy this one. But I am going to... That's a lot of money, too. Oh, my God. <laughs> I didn't realize. What's, I want to look at this one real fast. And just see, like... It, it looks like it's ready to be, like... Tra okay, so that's a 2001 to 2005, like, roof. R, 2006 to 2007, okay. But it looks like it's ready to go on a semi for like transport, doesn't it? All narrowed up and everything. Like I said, I just want to look at this one. I'm not going to buy it, of course. Get it with the PTO and stuff, okay. Wow, you literally just have it for pulling, like nothing else. Like cultivating plow and stuff like that. Wow. Kind of interesting. I kind of like that, actually. Definitely not those giant, no. Definitely not those giant markers. Holy cow. Got a lot of different, uh, a lot of different options there. Beacons, of course. So this goes to 500 horsepower. Of course, gotta have all the, all the GPS stuff went up. This wouldn't be a bad tractor either. Wouldn't be bad. But this one goes, one we have goes 19, that goes 24. We're going 26. That's what we want. We want, we want the speed, man. That is what we want. We want speed. Okay, who was saying they were at the end of their thing? I don't know. No, no, that's a truck. There's a wagon. Okay. All right. Anyway, not really worry about that right now. We got a new toy to play with, you know. Oh yeah, buddy. This is yep. Mm -hmm. The X9. Okay, yeah. I know X9. I know. Oh yeah. This is gonna be so much better on that green cart. I know the tires look a little weird. Maybe like a floater would look good. I'm not sure. For some reason that auger wagon saying he can't like get to the X9, and that's not. That's not an accurate statement. So. It's okay. We'll go grab our wagon and go empty that X9 that's 96% full. Let's go. This is great. Especially if I, I, and I may, I may do some episodes where I use my wheel setup. It'll be really great for that. Because I was driving an articulated around the other day with the wheel and holy cow, is it a different experience, but it is awesome. It is very different, but very cool at the same time. Okay, I know you're full, buddy. I know. I know you're full. I'll get to you as soon as I can. I will. I will get to you. I'm going to cross the ditch. New, Brand new tracker. Grab it in the water. Let's go. Allegedly water. The suspension on the seat works. Do you guys see that? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go get it, brother. Hey, you know what they say, right? Driver like you stole her. At least she has a key, you know? All the monitors. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. But we're going to keep the old articulated tractor as well. Maybe that's going to be our theme on this one is like articulated tractor. Still running. I should probably turn it off. It'll turn itself off. Probably. Maybe that should be our theme. <laughs> How many articulated tractors can we end up with, you know? 
And it still makes this green cart look like a monster. You know, this tractor still looks kind of small. Holy cow. That's kind of like actually, actually insane, you know? Nothing makes this green cart look, look small, you know? But look at this. We have speed now, guys. We have 26 miles an hour. That is going to be really nice to have. Plus, we have beacons now. Those are always nice to have. You know, where's our full guy at? Somewhere down here. Okay, that other auger wagon is moving on the uh, two track, so that is good. Our planter's still planting. Oh, wait, no, he's done. Huh. No, no, never mind. That's the X9. My bad. We'll go check up on the planter here in a minute as well. Actually, I can do this thing here, but we'll get next to this combine first, or at least ride along with him. We do need to set our cruise control, of course. And we do need to buy the, have money to buy those grain heads too. So I'm not going to buy anything else right now. Probably should invest in another field here very, very soon. Because fields are always good investments, you know. Just saying. And we'll empty when we go past the truck just because we can. Of course, why not? We will be uh, not full, but we're going to be getting there. Check on our planter. How's he coming along over here? I didn't realize he's planting at such an angle. Holy cow. So I'm planting soybeans there. Going to plant soybeans in three as well. And uh, it's going to be magical, right? It is going to be magical. All right. So now that we have the new tractor, I think I think we have to take a thumbnail picture with it in the picture, right? I think we have to. I had a different picture I already took, but you know what? There's our thumbnail. Uh, now that we have a new tractor, I think I'm going to jump ahead again in time. I'll just sit here and keep recording and keep harvesting away. And uh, we'll come back with another update on the harvest and uh, Jeffy. Alrighty, guys, we are back and just about done with the soybean field over here in field number two. That's what, about an hour or real close to an hour worth of... Uh, recording will do for you You'll get this field planted apparently in just over an hour or right about an hour that's actually not bad at all but uh, this does kind of close my window for uh, recording this video today so i want to check in here he's basically done and i want to check in back on the corn harvest because they are rocking they're doing their lands uh pat pattern here their lands set up that combine up there is 97% full, but there is an auger wagon right there. Hopefully he will get him. Otherwise, my auger wagon is sitting down here. It is very nice to have, by the way, a tractor that actually has some oomph under the hood. The other articulated tractor is great. Don't get me wrong. But this one, I had this cart like 98% full uh, a few minutes ago. And yes, 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 please. This thing is awesome. It pulls it like it's not even there. So... 26 miles an hour with a full cart, and it just rip roared and carried on, and away we went. And it was great. Now they're gonna drive through the ditch. That's okay. As long as there's no big rocks, they shouldn't get stuck. That's the issue we have down next to the homestead. That's okay. That was with a tractor, but I'm going to probably get stuck on it too with pretty big rocks. So let's go ahead and grab him here. And like I said, about an hour worth of recording to make this video, however long it ends up being. And, uh, yeah, so I will try to, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll work on the harvest between now and Saturday or now in the next video. Uh, which would be Friday for me, guys. For me, for me, guys. It'd be Friday for me. Saturday for you guys. I don't know. I'm not going to stop him, though. I want him to keep moving. I want him to keep moving to keep up with the other combine. I might let this run for just a little bit today. Let the other, uh, let the uh, auto drive driver take care of it. For a little bit and i am going to uh call this one a video i appreciate you guys watching hope you guys enjoyed it oh boy struggle bussing and uh looking forward to winter on the map because i will be selling those bales so hopefully we'll get some snow i know sean you said you sound i don't know about that ditch guys um sean wanted to see winter so we should get some winter this year that cedar's just about done over there as well Hopefully we get winter, or hopefully we get snow during winter. We'll be selling those bales. You do have to find a tractor with front loader arms for that, but that's another story. We'll get to that when we get to it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, on Toodles.